Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I am here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, great events, and amazing people. Today I am joined by an extremely experienced uh, yoga instructor, Mary Gath. Welcome, Mary. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it's my pleasure. So tell me, how did you get involved with yoga? Well, actually, I had never taken yoga before in my life. Um, I was home, feeling a little down and out, didn't know what to do with my life. I had already spent many years working, you know, seven days a week. And I seen an article on Facebook one day in reference to uh, people becoming yoga instructors. So I said, let me see if I could do this. It was only like, you know, three days before the course began. And I literally had to convince the yoga teacher to take me because she never takes anybody who has no yoga experience whatsoever. So after writing a nice letter to her and meeting with her, she decided to give me a shot. Mm -hmm. And it ended up that I was a good student, was there for all the classes and graduated in time and really worked hard. And I used to, my body used to be in pain a lot. My knees, my hands, my back, I used to have a lot of body pain. Right. And just doing that course within that year, right. even to now, no swollen feet, no knee pain, no hand pain, no back pain, you know, everything is like, I feel like I'm supposed to be like when right. you're 25, you know? Yeah. And at my yeah. age, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> you know? and, and you walk the walk and talk the talk. Right. Um, you do something amazing because I'm all about as an RD and working um, as an RD with kids and various nutritional disorders and uh, helping with attention and focus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all about, um, as a mother um, of kids, in terms of unplugging them as far as getting in, and doing some kind of physical activity. And you do something with kids. Well, I teach Hatha Yoga, which is a lot of breath control, uh -huh. and the classes are non-intimidating, so children aren't, you know, all worried. It's really fun yoga for the children, and it teaches them stillness, calming, strength, confidence, communication, and gives them better mobility skills. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those kids that when you first come in, you know, you tell them, okay, bend over and touch your toes, they can't touch their toes, mm -hmm. and they're like in shock. Right. You know, you try to get them to stay still, and they can't stay still. Right. And they're just like, I'm trying. But after three, four weeks, all of a sudden, one of the kids or two of the kids will start noticing they can touch their feet. Right. And they could stand still. Right. Right. And then they really start enjoying yoga. They really start noticing that I'm somebody that they can talk to because that's another thing I do with the kids too. And even with adults, I, I talk to them about mm -hmm. their, whatever you want to talk about, you know, you're not happy with your brother or your sister. You're not happy with your parents. Sure. It's just somebody I let them loose to say whatever they want to. Sure. It's between me and them. Um, with children, uh, it's, I don't do meditation, so I'll read them a story in reference to their body. I have several different books that I'll choose to read, and it'll be about how to, you know, control their bodies and keep themselves calm. Right, which so, is, is so, so important in today's world. Yeah. And then really at the is. end, they get, you know, little certificates because oh, I, I do eight-week sessions with children. So then every eight weeks, you know, they get a little something yeah. and they right. feel they've accomplished, yeah. you know, things. And, and, it's, uh, and it's good for them yeah. in sports because most kids, they're doing sports, but their bodies aren't toned. So you really need to, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't want your child to have injuries, you know, that are going to last a lifetime, you really should have your child go to yoga classes just to get toned. You know, like football players go to dancing school and mm -hmm. stuff, you know, so mm -hmm. they can reach 
sure. for that football. Sure. Well, if you're going to be a cheerleader and you're going to be mm-hmm. thrown up in the air all the time, <laughs> your that. body needs right. strength. Yeah. Your entire body needs to be strong. Sure. And that's the type of yoga I teach. Right. Is to strengthen every muscle in your body from your toes all the way to your head and also keep you give you mindfulness of what's happening mm-hmm. with your body. Mm-hmm. And you have a very relaxing demeanor about you. You have a, a very uh, calming yeah, way I try. about you. I love you. kids. I, I, yeah. There's something with me and kids that click, you know. Yeah, you Same do. thing with adults, you know. Um, you do. I'm very easy to, to listen. That's what it is. You're yeah. supposed to listen, not do all the talking. My job you is to listen you to what you're that. feeling. You do. Yes. You're a you're a great listener. You do. Yeah. Even in tune with bringing back fudge for my crew. That's <laughs> because <laughs> um, they love it. Yeah. But uh, what takes part in? You also work with adults. Um. So yes. give me an idea of what happens in a in a session because you do something very well. I don't do conventional but, yoga. Right. I don't play music. Right. I don't use the um, Sanskrit words for yoga. Mm-hmm. I teach yoga. And I explain to you what it's going to do for each part of your body as we're going along. And I also use props for assistance. My motto is your mat, your pace. So you, you're not intimidated by looking at somebody next to you that's doing something mm-hmm. better than you are. or Because right. a lot of people walk into a studio once and they never go back again. That's correct. That's correct. But I make sure I pay attention right. to each client individually Mm -hmm. and it does take a little time sometimes but it also shows everyone that's in the class Mm -hmm. that I am going to take that time out for each individual person Mm -hmm. to comfort their needs some people have knee injuries so they can't be on their knees some people have shoulder injuries so they can't you know hold themselves up on their own right you know uh, even just lifting your legs you know as you know and seen me do, I will go sure. over there and I will assist and hold your legs up for you yeah. with your breath control sure. because it's all about breath control too. Um, a lot of classes don't use breath control. With me, every single pose that we do, mm-hmm. we do an inhale through the nose and a deep exhale <sighs> through the mouth. So mm-hmm. you feel the heat coming through your body and you feel all your muscles working. Interesting. And so far, everybody that's come to my class has said to me that, because I'm like, oh, you feel nothing now, but the next day you're going to feel that your muscles were actually working. Right. So they feel they've accomplished something, Mm -hmm. which makes Mm -hmm. them come the week after. Right. So I also, that's, I also specialize in people that are looking to improve their bodies So if you are recovering from, say, you had a car accident and you had an injury, you know, after you finish rehabilitation, my class is a great class to go to. Um, It's good for anxiety, menopause, depression. Menopause. Yep. Interesting. Senior citizens. Okay. It's good to help you sleep. Uh I do chair yoga. I've even, I'll do private yoga if you're in a wheelchair. That's that's really good to know. Yes. Explain to me about chair yoga. What what is um, well, chair that? yoga is pretty much doing almost the same poses, most of them, mm-hmm. but you're sitting in a chair mm-hmm. because there's a lot of stuff that you could still do mm-hmm. that you're doing on the floor or standing up. Right. And some of the standing up poses, you will stand up and hold on to the chair for uh-huh. support. Right. So the chair is mainly for support for people who right. aren't able to hold themselves balanced right right at the beginning right i like the idea about uh menopause that you're saying that that helps with yes yoga. yeah it does because That's what you good. need to do is be calm with right. menopause right. you know as a woman you know not all women some women breeze right through it but there are other women that don't and they get very anxious mm-hmm. they get a lot of anxiety mm-hmm. they don't know how to relax right So you teach breath control. So as soon as you start feeling one of those symptoms coming on, you just sit, relax, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and do that like 10 times. Drink some water, a lot of water, and you start feeling better. You start feeling more in control. You're not ready to go snap at anybody because that's (laughs) what everybody says, you know, when you're 
oh, it's because she's going through menopause, you know. And <laughs> But, you know, men go through the same thing, too. They get anxious and stuff, and mm-hmm. they get agitated. And everybody just needs how to learn calmness and breath control. You bet. And that helps you go through life so much easier. You bet. I like to uh, like to say beyond the chaos and rhetoric, we have to see the forest through the trees, right? And be and be part of it. But I felt during my yoga session with you in the yoga sessions I've done previously, and I've said this with other people that have been on my show, that I felt extremely intimidated that because um, I run, mm-hmm. that's what I do, and running is is totally different than something like yoga. And it was very, uh, very intimidating in that I wasn't able to do. And when I was in your class, I felt that what you said, which I think your is... Mat, your pace. I love that. I love that. And and people should know that, that yoga does not have to be an, at a level of perfectionism, that you have to do every single move explicitly with right. perfection. Um, if you need to you relax, glide. you just sit back and relax. Right. right. If you need to use props, you can use props. They're always Very sitting helpful. there available for you. Very helpful. And I and like the idea. if you need my assistance, I jump up and I'm right there. No, you do. And I like the idea of no music because that can interfere with trying to concentrate to listen correctly. Yes. And keep that focus. And you do a beautiful job of it. You do. Thank you. You do. In addition to that, you also are into hiking. Yes. Yes. And you Not didn't... a hiking professional, right. but I love hiking. Mm-hmm. And I actually advise hiking to all of my yoga students. Uh-huh. Always. I always tell right. them, don't just do yoga. Right. Either you can hike in the forest. Sure. If you're not capable of hiking in the forest, there right. are plenty of paths right. around. Just do a nice brisk walk. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not into running. I'm definitely into hiking because I feel that when you move at a decent pace, your muscles are actually tightening up when you're walking and you're not overdoing your cardio. You know, you're not (sighs) breathing like that. You're just breathing at a nice calm pace and you're literally using every muscle in your legs from your hips down and you're using your stomach muscles. And, because, and taking into nature. Right. Just especially when you're inclining sure. uphill. Right. You know. Absolutely. Some people are like, well, let me run up that hill and get it over with quicker. No, I know. But no, if you take your time going up that hill, you'll yeah. feel the burn. You'll feel the muscles. Right. And then by the end of, you know, like I like to hike weekly and right. I like to walk daily. Yeah. I feel good. Yeah. I feel that, you know, okay. I could do anything. Yeah. I'm like a different person. You know? you're, you're multi-talented, Mary. Well, uh, I know you're going to be part with me in yoga and the Otter Index retreat. Yes, a facilitator. And yes. you're going to be a. I'll be doing r- yoga. There. I'll be doing hiking. So I can take your classes and you yep. listen with my l- nutrition lectures uh, yes. up there in the beautiful Otter Index. Well, I want to thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for having me. That's my I my appreciate pleasure. It. Remember, when you feel great and eat well, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, balance and moderation is key. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us.